Allah. Where does he say that? After, because he says he spoke Aramaic and he said, you're the only true God. Well, not like for example, for, for example, if I say, uh, Ty, you're the only dunce Muslim on the stage. But I don't say Ty, I just say you. Who am I speaking to? No, but that's not what you said. He, he said, if you, I say you, you are the only dunce Muslim on the stage, who am I speaking to? No, because see, you, night, night, you're trying to trickery. That's not what he said. He said you. What? what how, that would, how that? How that? How that would? Rep how that would have gone is. Time. Time. No, let me finish. Time. Let me finish. Time. Let me. Let Time. me you're, about, you're about. You're about. You're about to get cut, bro. You're about to get because cut. You're not, you're, not, you're not being. You're not being sincere. You, you said. You said you was humble. You said you were you're not sincere, being sincere, bro. And you keep showing the opposite, my my dog. Oh, you, you just said. Uh, where does he say a lot in that? If I if I if I said. Ty, yeah. I'm gonna try it one last time with you. Yeah. Answer the question, please. Yeah. If I say you are the only dunce Muslim on the stage, who am I talking to? But that's not what he said. He said you are the only dunce Muslim on the stage, Ty. You're missing the end bit. You're not finishing the sentence. Wait, I didn't say Ty. I didn't say Ty. Well, in the, neither, well, in, neither, do, neither does. Okay. You don't, Jesus God. says. Jesus You're says. You are the only true God. Yeah. Who is he talking to? He's talking to God. Who is he talking to? Is he talking God. to an idol? How, how do you, who is he referring to as God? What? He's talking to the Father in heaven, according to ah, you. Ah, there it is. Ah, according, to, ah, according to you, ah, not according to us. He's, to, he's talking to the he Father. He didn't say that. He said, how do you know? well, according how do you, okay. to Jesus. Who is he talking to, to? Jesus said, you are, you are the only true Allah. Ty, I'm going to give you one last chance. Oh according my God. to the text, I, who yes. is Jesus talking to? God. Who is that that he's referring to as his God? Who is he talking Allah. to? Allah. Where? Where does wait, he say that? On. Does he say Allah? Wait, 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 God? Because he speaks Avery. Aramaic and the name of God in Aramaic Avery, is Allah. Avery, 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 wait, wait, wait. Get out I, of here. I was just gonna I was just gonna ask him. I was just gonna ask him. All right, let's keep that. Let's stay in John. Oh. Thomas calls Jesus his Lord and his God. So according to Jesus, he accepts Thomas Thomas's confession of him as God. So he also is a law. Does Ty believe that? It's too complex for him, BD. Too is Jesus a law? It's too complex for him. Man. Oh yeah, like I said, IQ of a thumb. All right, Muslim Turk, you was about to say too long, you, was, you you was about you was about to show us where where the Quran uh, gives the qualifications of Messiah for Jesus. Yeah, so he said in yeah he said in six six sixty one it says about the messenger confirming the Torah and him confirming that there's a messenger called Ahmed which is Muhammad uh, coming after him. That's the verse. Now if you go to twenty seven fifty seven it talks about how Muhammad uh, sorry about how Jesus got got taught in wisdom and writing the Torah and he got and the gospel was sent to him. Now. If you also go to 546, the same thing says, it says about how... Wait, what, what are you, I don't, I don't, what are you proving to me? What, what are you, what is the point that yeah, you're making? I'm going to get to what my you, point. I'm just... I'm no, just no, no, you're, 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 no, no, bro. Shut, stop. I'm allowing you to get it all out. I want to know what you're addressing. What are you addressing? Jesus mentioning I'm Ahmed. Addressing, I'm addressing how Jesus confirmed Ahmed coming after Got him. Got it. All right, thank you. All right, go ahead. Continue. So as I was saying, also 546 said about this is actually a similar verse like I said in 27 and 57. Also 546, Jesus conf Jesus confirms the Torah, the Torah, and him being given the gospel. Now, in these verses here, and I could show you more in Surah Maida, like for example 5110, that how Jesus was preaching his gospel, his NGO, I'll call it, it's NG, so he was preaching to the people that Ahmed Zifan, the messenger, Allah is the one true God. Now, this, the Quran verse does not say that um, there's a source, that it does not say that the other verse, may, the other verses, like for example, 3, 3, or 374, for example, says that Jesus, oh. Jesus mentioned Ahmed as a final prophet. The verse says that how when he was preaching to his people, he was preaching about the message, which is Allah is one God. There's a final messenger coming, and all those all what, those what, subjects. What am, what am I? What so am I asking you, for? What am I asking for, Muslim Turk? About Jesus showing Ahmed as the final messenger. What? What? What did I ask specifically, bro? 
Uh, you asked about Jesus. Show me where Jesus said Ahmed is the final messenger. Okay. So you going all around the Quran about how Jesus confirmed the Torah, was taught the gospel and wisdom. Does that answer my question on where Jesus said Ahmed is coming after him? The verse, any, you can, I dare you to show me one tip, see where it says it matches the Bible. Where Jesus said Ahmed. Uh, he's he's about still, he still doesn't he's, he's get sure? it. Well, that's okay, but do you sure you sure you want you want <laughs> you sure you want that? It's not talking about the modern day Bible. It's talking about well, the well, Injil, how he preached the message to the people. Uh, okay, so it's mentioned in the Injil that Jesus said Ahmed is coming after him, right? Yeah, you could say that. Okay, so he preached it where, to people. Michael, where? Show me where Jesus said this. That's all I'm asking. But the Tangil is the oral tradition. We do not have any writings of it. How can I show you any verse about it? Chapter 7, possible. verse 157 says the Injil was written down. Chapter 7, no, chapter 7, verse 157 says about the unlettered prophet. You got it wrong. Okay. It says here, the unlettered prophet whom they find written in the Torah and the Injil with them yes so it says that the angel was it says the angel was written down right which they <laughs> bro it says about how it, ahmed would be written in the torah and angel. does it does it say yeah. that the angel was written down it does not say the angel is written down however it says okay I'll, I'll, I'll read it again I'll read, I'll read it again it says and they will whom they find the unlettered prophet whom they find written in the torah and the gospel with them you know so does written? that say that the Torah and the Gospel is written? Written does not necessitate written down in a paper or in a document. Dude, are you serious? It's, it's literally what the work Maktubin means. It literally means to write something down, bro. Like, I don't, I don't understand why you guys do this. In order to get out of this problem, you guys just lie. Bro, how do they misunderstand their own book? It says it. Muslim Turk, if you were to write down something, what does that mean? Listen, if I tell you to write down Ahmed in the Injil, I could tell you in a sense that no, sir. That's not my question. That's not, bro. Just listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 Muslim Turk, bro, I don't want to have to mute you. Listen, if I ask you to write something down, what am I asking you to do? You're asking him to say it. You, you're, you're saying it wrong. You, it says that. It's I'm saying it wrong. It. So if I tell... Nah, nah. You know what? You you're just saying the words wrong. You're okay, saying okay, written okay. down do you, wrong. Do you wanna do you wanna call it a writing for your for your sake? It's not for me. I just want you to get your book says. I, so, it's so not listen, for our you, sake. Muslim, Muslim. If I'm asking, but just can listen you let to my question, talk? bro. Can you no, logic talk? no, bro. Just answer the question. If I'm asking you to write something down, what am I asking you to do? What actions take place? Me to write a word down or a letter or something. Right. In what? <laughs> and to write it down in a, any sort of document or book or any compa. Okay. Document. Thank you. Thank so, you. When the, so when the Quran says that Muhammad is written down in what they have with them in the Torah and in the Injil, that means that it's written down in that book, correct? Yeah, it is written in the uh, and G. Okay, thank you. That's what we've been saying this whole time, my guy. So the Injil is written. I'm is not it, going so against it. I said the Injil is oral tradition. I never. You said it. you said that you said that the Injil is not a written document. We don't. It's not like written. It's like they could write it down and pay. It doesn't mean that there was copies of it manufactured. That you could write it down in the Injil, meaning there could be one copy. Oh, for example, Jesus could have a paper copy in his hand, which is one book. You do, you cannot decide if there's one or a thousand or many. It's either singular and plural. We do not know the categorical reference, so you have to. You cannot just make assumptions. I would be too. Yes.
Yeah, I never denied it. Like I said, there could be one book, there could be one document. You, you think you're putting it into. No. You guys are muting me, bro. You guys are muting me. I'm not me. muting you. Someone muted me. Ooh. Just let me finish no, my nobody, point. Nobody I just want to have a... I want a we're, normal we're discussion. I'll talk, you guys talk, okay? Just a normal discussion. Yeah, dude, just go. Nobody was trying to meet okay. you. I said that in you was an oral tradition. This oral tradition contradict that it's written no oral tradition could mean that jesus was preaching it to the people now i'm saying jesus could have a book or a document one book but you guys do not decide if it's plural or singular the reference here is that you guys are you guys trying to tell me that there were many copies or what get to the, now you and okay. get to your point please okay no problem so so in this so in this book that was written can you tell us what book chapter and verse it was or just just tell us the chapter and verse in the ngo where Jesus mentions Ahmed. That that what? Where Jesus okay in, in the Quran it says that Jesus mentions Ahmed coming after him. Okay, what chapter and verse is it? <laughs> if I, if I, if I, what the heck that, is you giggling for? Yes, bro. Yes, we're asking you a very it's, a I, like, I know it's funny. <laughs> I know it's funny when we ask you to substantiate claims. I get it. But try to just try to contain your laughter. Can you tell us what chapter and verse that Ahmed is in the NGO? We do not know. That's my answer. That's simple. Oh, okay. So so the Quran Finally, says that it's, right. So so the Quran says that the Quran is fully detailed and everything. But yet in this verse, it's not detailed enough to tell us what chapter and verse Ahmed is in. You're applying it falsely. I'll ask you, so I don't know what interruptions, is that fine? Because I'm a girl. Okay, so when you said that the Quran is detailed in everything, the Quran mentions it being the Injil. So if it, when the Quran, when you think about it as a detailed, it explains everything in perfect. We can apply this to the Day of Judgment. If, for example, if the Quran has explained everything in detail, it mentions a signs of the Day of Judgment, but it does not necessitate the hour of the Judgment, when it will okay. be, and many other stuff. But it tells us events, events that build up and signs. So when you say okay. literally right. that, it is detailed. Mm -hmm. When you literally say that it is detailed, mm -hmm. it does not necessitate that it has to be significantly detailed in everything. So you're okay. getting it wrong. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna get that to you. Where else can we find Muhammad mentioned? Where? Let's just go with what you're saying. Let's throw the in in jail, out. Yeah, let, let's let's throw the injil out because apparently the the Quran doesn't tell us where in it, and we don't have it anymore. So where will we? So where will we be able to substantiate this claim? Yeah, where else does yeah. Jesus mention Ahmed? So the, the Quran claims that it is mentioned in the. I'll get to from Balista. So the Quran mentions that Jesus. Uh, sorry, the Quran mentions that Jesus claimed that Ahmed will come, and he preached the message as an oral tradition to his people. But you're saying that the Injil verse does. We do not have a verse. Bro, it say it wasn't bro which where can we? Oh, okay, okay. Where can we find Ahmed if it's not in the Injil? Remember, I'm giving that to you. It's not fine. It's not going to tell us the chapter and verse. No problem. Where can we find him? How can we substantiate this claim? I could pull up Isaiah 42 or, or even this. Hebrew. Like, even this, I, I mean, yeah. if he wants to say it's a tradition. What? Situating the old tradition, and we'll look at it. Could you repeat that? You're cutting out. If you're I mean, going to say that it's oral right. tradition, that's fine. If you're going to say it's oral tradition, that's fine. But tell us to put, tell us to find the people who are perpetuating the oral tradition that goes back to Jesus. Find we something to substantiate your lost. claim. It's so lost. you can't we even look have... at that either. Okay, let me give you an example. Go to Mark 1, chapter 14, the Gospel of Kingdom. Do you have oh, any text God. or criticism Wait, on that? Hold on, Muslim Turk. You just said he's not in the Bible, the one we have today. Like, this is insane. What's wrong with y'all? And Mark actually tells you the Gospel of the Kingdom because that's what Jesus preaches, you numpty. Oh, my goodness. Hello.
Hello there. I was listening to Muslim Turk. I apologize. I mean, some Muslims debate with passion rather than logic, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> before I start, um, I want to ask you guys a question, if that's okay, so I know how to sort of build my arguments. Is that okay? Sure. So would we agree that Jesus was roughly crucified around 33 AD? Yeah. Um, how soon after Jesus' crucifixion was the first gospel written down in text? Mm. Can anyone else answer that? No, I don't think. 20 years. About 20 years later, okay. Now, A little bit four... under that, but sure. Yeah, about 55. Were all yeah. four gospels written simultaneously, or did, for example, Mark write his before Mark's oh, Lord, I mean, Hold on, friend. Abu, you might be in the gym or something, Abu Amir. You, your background's sorry, way. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Right. Okay, so I'll just repeat that question. I, I thought it was you, like my bad. <clears throat> so, um, the first gospels were written roughly about twenty years after Jesus was crucified. Um, were they all written at the same time, or did Mark write his before John, for example? Uh, they were most likely written at different times. Uh, Matthew's the first one. And what was the last one to be written, Black Doctor? Uh, Bob, probably John, as Gospel Origin John. would have, as Origin reports it. So is there, is there, is this, is this going to help What's you? What's the answer, point? Is, is this going to help you answer where does Jesus mention Ahmed? Um, because you said you only had like that. one question. Okay, okay, I'm not sure what Muslim Turk's line of argument was. However, um, I won't be going down that same route. I wouldn't be able to tell you whether or not Jesus did foreshadow or prophesy Ahmed. It's not something I'm knowledgeable in. I won't be able to answer that. I have a slightly different line of argument, if that's okay. Okay. So, so he just doesn't want to. He just doesn't want to answer the question. No, fundamentally, I didn't bring up the topic. I shouldn't be held to account for it. Well, it's it's my topic. That's it's my topic. Okay. So like that's that's what I've been. You know, I'll convert to Islam if. Um, mm -hmm. one of the the thing is 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 if someone can show me where Jesus mentioned Ahmed, because the Quran says he did. The Quran says Jesus me mentioned Ahmed. Yes. Uh, what verse in the Quran? That's chapter 61, verse 6. Chapter 61? Mm -hmm. Verse 6. Sorry, the verse? 6. And call to mind when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am Allah's messenger to you. I verify the Torah which has come before me, and I give you the glad tiding of a messenger who shall come after me, his name being Ahmed. Yet when he came to them with clear signs, I said, this is sheer, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So okay. for me, obviously, the words of Jesus is extremely important. If he said it, I believe it. <clears throat> you know, so I'm just asking, where did he say this? Okay, or, so, right. Okay, now I get it. So you're essentially saying the Quran has claimed something. Where in the Bible can we verify this claim? Yeah, right. Not even in the Bible, just anywhere. Just where can you verify it, brother? Which is an interesting question. So historically speaking, the only book that could verify this claim would be the Bible. Absolutely. Mm. Very good. Okay. Now, how does that make you feel? It doesn't make me feel anything because fundamentally what's up for debate here is the validity of the Bible. No, it's well, not. no, it's the so Quran this is that is up my, for debate. So this is why my first line of argument came from. If you let me carry on, I can maybe present to you perhaps another viewpoint that many Muslims hold. Well, now, the, Black Doctor, well, I, th I think we know the, that viewpoint. Yeah, that's I, I'm not sure you do, but if you would let me finish, I, we'll I'm some... pretty sure we do. Hold, hold okay, on, what guys. am I going to say, Live Geo? Uh, 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 let else? Avery handle this. Look, bro. Um, mm -hmm. If you're if you're gonna try to invalidate the Bible, which you just said that the only book that we have in history that mm -hmm. can validate this claim is the Bible, and mm -hmm. invalidate the Bible. Mm -hmm. And by um, I, I'll even grant that to you, bro. That would mean that this this uh, claim from the Quran is invalidated. What is that? Uh, that logic doesn't follow. Well, it does because you said that the only book that can validate mm -hmm. the claim that the Quran says of what Jesus said about Ahmed is the yes. Bible. Right. And if the Bible is invalidated, then the Quran mm -hmm. is invalidated. Since that's not necessarily to confirm this, they, those two don't go side by side. One's causation doesn't affect the other. All we're simply saying is the Quran and the Bible have both made a claim. 
just because the for example I'll present both sides if the Quran is false that doesn't mean the Bible's false if the Bible's false it doesn't mean the Quran is false it's fundamentally that I don't, I don't think you I don't think you get the point I, I the think point I do understand is, if the Bible is false the Quran is false because it confirms the Bible your end no 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 ah, ah. The, Quran, your the Quran confirms a Bible Okay, so hey, according, according to your according to your argument, or I'm sorry, your statement, you mm -hmm. said the only the mm -hmm. only book that we have in history mm -hmm. that can validate the claim of the Quran mm -hmm. is the Bible. You said that, right? That's correct. Okay, so if the Bible, mm -hmm. the only book that we can use to validate mm -hmm. the Quran's mm -hmm. claim, mm -hmm. is the Bible. If mm -hmm. that book is false, mm -hmm. fabricated, mm -hmm. then the claim of the Quran, which mm -hmm. is relying on the Bible, mm -hmm. is also fabricated. So, God logic, I think one of the essential misconceptions you're taking is what the Quran says about the angel. The Quran says, and this is specifically what it says, it says the book was corrupted. Now, yeah. fundamentally, give us the where? verse, please. When, when the Quran says the Bible was corrupted, give, give us the verse, mean? please. Sir, give uh, us the verse, course. please. Of course I can. Yes, please, specifically where the Injil was corrupted. He said, of course I can. Like, chapter so 2, <laughs> verse 79. What was chapter 2, verse 79, sir? No, he, exactly he, what he, you're he, about to read. He was, he was joking. Let's see, let's see. Okay, chapter 2, verse 79. So, what was those with the <laughs> You are a prophet, life. <laughs> okay. I'm doing no, one second here. Life gave him the alley. Good logic. Sure. You like presenting a lot of um, logical gymnastics. So, I'll give you one, okay? Have you ever played the game Chinese Whispers? No, we want you to actually find us a passage in your Quran that says mm -hmm. that our Bible is corrupted. Do it. Specifically, the Injil. I want that the Injil is corrupted. Well, life pretty much gave one. I can find a few more in the free time. No, the, if you're going to go to this one, then analyze this one and see if it's true, dude. Okay. I don't, I don't know. What, what, what are we doing here, man? Logic, I don't think you know the Muslim's position. Let him explain it to you, man. Right. I think that would be very interesting if we could do. Okay, so essentially, the Quran maintains, and you know this as well as I do, like Quran 2 verse 79 says, woe to those who distort the scripture. We say that the Bible has been corrupted. Now, fundamentally, what does that mean? That means that the Bible we hold today, or perhaps we have done for a while, is not the original message that God sent. The reason for that is God's words cannot be changed. The Quran affirms it. God's message cannot be changed. So I knew that would be a rebuttal. You'd be saying, oh, but the Quran says, yeah, I acknowledge that. So I wasn't even going to say that, but thanks for bringing that up. One second. So when a Muslim says that the Bible has been corrupted, what we mm. mean is the original message, the original revelation from God to Moses or God to Jesus or God to whatever prophet is intact. God's words have not been changed. But when that prophet passed it on to a human who passed it on to a human who passed it on to a human, that chain of transmission is where the mm. corruption happens so mm, god's wow. original Sounds words cannot be tampered however the rest can that's what islam or the quran means when it says the words are being corrupted so to answer your very question if the bible's the only book that can invalidate my claim well i would turn around and say to you we do not have that bible very good all right so let me ask you this then uh no well first let me address something in the comments somebody said in the comments Stop letting him waffle. Guys, the man has every right to get off his point. This isn't one of those Muslim lives where we don't allow the person to make an argument. We let him make his argument and we deal with it at hand. If you don't have the patience to listen to the other side's point, then this live is not for you. Mm -hmm. uh, well, from the Muslims who just kicked us out and muted us and insulted us, we're better than that. You're... Mm -hmm. Abu Amir, please stop on me. <laughs> <laughs> Abu is a real fan man. Dude is at a concert right now, man. <laughs> Trying to debate. His man in the gym right under the speaker. Goodness. Anyway, um, so you mentioned, uh, you quoted 279. Well, to those who write the scripture with their own hands. What scripture? Pardon? What scripture is 279 talking about? 
Okay, the, the answer to that one will probably come in the verses before that. Give me one second. That's Al Bakara. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just I'll just fast forward. It's talking yeah, about the Torah. Go for it. Okay, it's talking about the Jews and how some among the Jews mm -hmm. uh, write fake books and they claim that these fake books are from God and they seek to sell it for a small price. That's what it said. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Okay. I wrote a fake book and I claim that it was from God. Does that mean that the Quran has been corrupted? Pardon, what was that? If I wrote a fake book, mm -hmm. I wrote a book with my own hands, yeah. claimed that it was from God and tried to yeah. sell it, mm -hmm. would that mean that the Quran has now been corrupted? Uh, no. Okay. So similarly here, mm -hmm. people, some of them, not all mm -hmm. of them, some of them mm -hmm. write books with their own hands, mm -hmm. claim it's from God, sell mm -hmm. it for a small price, that doesn't mean that the Torah is actually corrupt. The actual Torah doesn't yeah. mean it's corrupted. Of course, yeah. logic. The only problem you would have there is that the original Torah, the first ever official word of God, was not put into text. As you admitted, for example, the Gospels, they were written around 20 years after Jesus was crucified. Things like that. Wait, Can you would... confirm? No, just for example. Wait, why would I say that the Torah is not in text? The One Torah, second. The Torah is a book. Okay, so the original Torah is in text. Yeah, the Torah is a book. So, God logic, could you tell me from the moment the text was revealed to the moment it was first put down into written form, mm. do you know when or how long that took? Uh, no, I don't have to. Let, let, me, let me tell you why I don't have to know that, <laughs> how that's irrelevant. Because okay. Muhammad was in about the 7th century, right? 6th, 7th, yeah, okay, fine. 7th yeah, century. Seventh century. Yeah. Muhammad, mm -hmm. Muhammad says that the Quran is confirming the Torah that is there in his time. Right. Fortunately, we have a Torah that's even older than that. Mm -hmm. We have all the Torahs up until the seventh century and beyond. Mm -hmm. So what Muhammad had was would be confirming what we have. Yeah. Right? I, don't, I don't have to have the very first Torah that was written down. As long as I have the Torah from the seventh century, I'm good. Glory okay, God, so we have, the, we have the Torah way before that. Well, Logic, the only thing you're forgetting is what are you basing? What? How do you know what Muhammad had? Are you basing that on Quran verses? Yeah. So fundamentally, what you're forgetting is the Quran verses do not come from Muhammad. They came well, from that's, God. that's that's your assumption, but let me even go with you. Go for uh, it. So let's let's go with this. That's even better. Okay. So God in the Quran is affirming the Torah that I have right now. Right. How is he doing that? Because he, he says that the Quran came confirming the Torah that's with Muhammad. Interesting, Karim. So that would mean that it's confirming what I... It, it, it even quotes it almost verbatim. Um, I'm looking at the quotes now. I'm waiting to find out what you say. Like, for example, go to chapter 5, verse 45. It verse 44? 45. Chapter 5, um, verse 45. It's... Verse 44, indeed, we sent down the Torah in which was guidance and light. Verse 45, brother. Okay, read verse 45 for me. Oh, I thought you read it. Hey, you're making me work. Okay, Quran 5, verse 45, I'll bring it up. I appreciate it. Go for it. I thought you was about to read it. I'm confused. What's I'll that? read a few. And therein we had ordained for them a life for a life, an eye for an eye, and a nose for a nose, and an ear for an ear, and a tooth for a tooth, and for all wounds, like for like. I think you'd find it was verse 44. Did you just read 44 or 45? No, I just read 45. Yeah, so that's what I said. I said, I said 45. Yes, yeah, so, and 45 is the one I just read. Good. So you see how it says what's in the Torah? Now, no, me... that's, that's, not, that's not what it says in 45. It says in 44. What? I just read verse 45. Bro, 45. I was brain blast well, right now. Verse 45, you told me to read verse 45, and it says, And therein we had ordained for them a life for a life, an eye for an eye, and a nose for a nose, and an yeah. ear for an ear, and a tooth for a tooth. Yeah, it's, it, said, wounds, it says that that's in the Torah. What, 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 what? No, no, no. You told me to read the Quran. No, let's not play this game. You told me to read from the Quran, chapter 5, verse 45. I tried to correct you and say you're referring to verse 44. You were adamant it's verse 45. It's going I've now read verse 45. No. Well, you're going too fast, bro. Mm -hmm. verse, verse 45 tells you what's in the Torah. No, verse 44 does. <sighs> He's telling you that verse 45 is quoting the Torah. That's what he's trying to tell you. It's what do you mean to say? 
It's verse 45. It's to him like he's five. Yeah, it's stolen him. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm trying. Please go again. Chapter four, 5, mm -hmm. verse 45 of the Quran. Yep. Quotes the Torah. Right. Okay. Carry on. That, that's the point. It quotes the Torah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Carry on. So the verse that it just quoted is mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 21 in my Bible. Okay. It's in my Torah that I have right now. Mm -hmm. It okay. almost verbatim quotes what I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Showing you that the Torah that Muhammad, that Muhammad is talking about, or okay. your, your viewpoint, Allah is talking okay. about, okay. is what I have. Right. So God logic, by your definition, one verse that aligns is proof of an entire scripture? It's not just one verse. It's okay. It's it, dude. The okay. entire Quran talks mm -hmm. about how it affirms what I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now there's a few points in the Quran that mm -hmm. specifically quotes what I have. Okay. God logic too. I'm going to give you some a very simple analogy here. Okay. Imagine I gave you two books. One was Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. The other one was Lord of the Rings. But by some miracle, one page of both these books was identical. If I gave you the Lord of the Rings book and told you to read just that Harry Potter page, could you would you tell me that that is the Harry Potter book? Can you can you show me? Um, no, can you, can you, logic. Can you it's a simple analogy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, what your analogy is, it doesn't fit the scenario Why? that we're talking at about. all. Why? You're, you're, so notice how if you said, uh, let, let's go with your analogy, but let me fix it. Let me go make it match more. Okay. Um, Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you're saying that mm -hmm. you gave me mm -hmm. the Harry Potter book. Okay. You and and you you're writing in this letter. This letter confirms the Harry Potter book that you have. And then in your letter, you even quote one of the pages in the mm -hmm. Harry Potter book that mm -hmm. I. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I got a phone call. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. So your letter that you're writing mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. quotes one of the pages mm -hmm. in the Harry Potter book that I have. That's right. the example okay. that you should, that's, that's a better analogy that fits. So okay. if, if somebody brought me Lord of the Rings, it says, oh, the, your, your letter is talking about actually Lord of the Rings. And I mm -hmm. check in Lord of the Rings. No, it's not. The letter says it's confirming my Harry Potter book. It doesn't say mm -hmm. anything about Lord of the Rings. And then mm -hmm. it even quotes one of the pages in my Harry Potter book. It doesn't say nothing about Lord of the Rings, nor does it quote it. So that's out. Okay. So before when you talked to Muslim Turk, you meant, he mentioned Tafsir. I wasn't sure why he didn't go into correct details. But we'll speak about a few other verses because you keep throwing Quran 279 around. What does Nisa 446 say? In fact, forget it. I'll, I'll read it to you instead. Among the Jews are those who distort words from their prophet usage and say, we hear and disobey and hear but not be heard and Ra'ina, twisting their tongues and defaming the religion. And if they are said instead, etc., etc. This verse with Tafsir of Ibn Kathir says, criticizes some Jewish people for deliberately distorting words and meanings in religious teachings, thus leading others astray from the true message of the Torah. Twisting how? Twisting how? Twisting how? Because, I'll read it again for you. No, not twisting because, twisting how. How do they twist it? With what? With the Twisting pin? their tongues and defaming ah. the religion. So, so now let me ask mm -hmm. you this again. Let's okay. put, it, put it in perspective. Okay. Let's say um, I twist with I twist my tongue, right? I use my tongue to mm -hmm. twist what the Quran says. Yeah. I, I lie about what the Quran says. I misinterpret yeah. the Quran. I yeah. say what the Quran doesn't even what it, it doesn't yeah. even mean. Yeah. Has the Quran now been corrupted? The original Quran hasn't. No. Okay. What, what about look? This isn't the original Quran. This is just something that some, somebody bought for me. Mm -hmm. If if I I, I I twist what this Quran says, mm -hmm. I, I say what it doesn't mean, I misinterpret it. Does yep. that mean that this, this Quran has been corrupted? If your version becomes mainstream, yes. No, you can look around, but it's a, it's a fact. The burden the of, no, of the Quran at that, that you at, that, at that point, the burden of proof is on you. Prove that the Why? twisted version has went mainstream. Prove it. 
Okay, Surah An-Nisa. Oh, no, I read that one. Surah Al-Maidah. So for the no, break, no, no. you can't give me a Quran verse to do that. No, please, oh, why can't please. I give you the Quran verse? He, he, he doesn't even understand what you just said, life. No, I do understand. Uh, well, you're trying to make me seem well, like I'm not understanding. Does, you just it, said. Does me lying about what this text says change yeah. what the text says? If what you say about it becomes the perceived true meaning. Oh, so wow. very simple. Does it change the text? <laughs> Not the original text, no. As I've argued, oh, there okay. we go. Yes. Boom. So therefore, just because I lie on the text, and let's say even my <laughs> lie becomes the popular understanding, yeah. that doesn't change what the text actually says. So you've basically just affirmed what I said at the beginning, that what Muslims say when it's corrupted is that the original message from God to the prophet hasn't changed. It's just a train of transmission. You just no, agree. No, what I'm saying, well, what I'm saying is the reverse. I'm Why? saying, you're, look, I'm saying that these people corrupt the message. They mess yes. up the message. They lie and misinterpret the message while the text is still intact. The right. words on the pages are yes. not changed. Right. They, but they the meaning is misinterpreted. They twist with their words. You understand? It's interesting you say that. So that's what the Quran says. It doesn't say that they mess up the text. It says that they mess it up with their tongues. They lie about it. So the Quran has never at all said that they never mess with the original text. What's that? No, nope. the Quran never ever mentioned yeah, they no. mess with it. No, never. So tell me now, God loves you. Tell me, what is the original text? When did it first come about? It doesn't matter. You want to why? know why? You want to know why? Why? Because the Quran is affirming what is there in the seventh century. Right. I don't have to have the what is in the first century or what is exactly in the time of Moses. I don't have to have that. As long as I have seventh century and before. I'm good in the in the Quran's eyes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So what you're fundamentally saying is because the Prophet Muhammad or God revealed an aspect of the Torah in the seventh century that confirms that the Torah has not been changed. Because the Quran affirms the Torah that's in the seventh century and the mm -hmm. gospel that's in the seventh century and the Psalms mm -hmm. that's in the seventh century and the writings mm -hmm. of the prophets that's in the seventh century, mm -hmm. because it affirms that. Yeah, that means it's it affirms what I have because what I have is not just seventh century; it's way before that. Interesting, interesting. So now let's go back, and I want you to keep this in mind. Don't let this argument go. What exactly the argument you've used? And I'll go back to the very first question I asked Black Doctor Twenty One. Or I can ask you as well: In what order were the Gospels written? It doesn't. Why does that matter? If you let me explain, we can get there. If you can answer that, please. Well, okay, so the church, according to Church Fathers, Matthew was written first, John was written last, mm -hmm. Mark and Luke okay. in the middle of that. Forget John for now. The other three Gospels, can you tell me at least one occasion where Jesus' divinity is mentioned? Yeah, in Mark chapter 1. He's, called the, divine, one. he's called the Son of God. He's called Yahweh, who's going to appear um, before the voice of the, uh, after the voice in the wilderness. So Mark chapter 1, the beginning of the Gospel of Jesus yeah, so, Christ, the so Son of so, God. Yeah, so how, do, how does that help you? How now, does that this help helped you? me in one very specific way. Uh, go ahead. What is the difference between the way John speaks about Jesus and the way Mark does? There is no, there is no, no. difference. Both so Mark and John, John says, God. God. What is My, Well, how does that help you? It helps me very specifically. Please. If you group the Gospels into two stages, one John who was written a long time after Jesus, and then Matthew, Mark, and Luke who were written roughly around the time of Jesus or close enough to directly know people who knew Jesus, they approach his divinity in two different ways. And I'll give you very specific well, uh, answers. Uh, okay, well, this is where I have to cut you off. And the okay. only reason why I'm cutting you off, not because, you know, um, I don't want you to talk. It's because you're off the topic. We just laid down a foundation mm -hmm. of how the Quran affirms the preservation of my scripture. How, what is your response to that? So you want my response to what the Quran says about the Bible and the Torah? Yeah, and on how we just proved to you that according to the Bible, according to the Quran, my Bible is preserved and it's not corrupted. What is your response to that? Don't go attacking the deity of Christ or whatever. Please okay. stay on topic and respond to that. Yeah, hundred percent. So fundamentally, it's as I've always maintained: the Quran says that the Scripture was misrepresented; it was corrupted. It was misrepresented. No, that's yeah. not corrupted. That's, that's misrepresented. Not corrupted. 
misrepresented and corruption, they can we, lead we've to We've already dispelled no. that argument. You can't use it, bro. Well, I can use it. No, so, well, we, we just established that the Quran never says that the text of the Bible is corrupted, but mm -hmm. only says that people misinterpret and lie on what the text says. We established mm -hmm. that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So please don't say that the Quran says it, the book is corrupted now because we, we got past that. Yeah. You know, you're, 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 you're different than the average Muslim we talk to. We can move, we can move forward. Okay, so move forward. I'll answer your question now because I now fundamentally say what you're saying. You're basically using Quran verses to prove this. Okay, fine. Now, you understand there are other jurisprudence in, uh, in Islam. This there includes other Hadith, other jurisprudence, so other jurisprudence, authorities, yeah, yeah. okay? This uh -huh. includes Hadith. Now, I'll give you one Hadith. Abu Ali said, they took what Allah has revealed in their book describing Muhammad and changed its meaning. Ibn Zayd said the phrase they used to hear the word of Allah, the Torah, then they used to change it. They changed it, making what it permitted forbidden. That's one hadith. Number two, I'll give you another one. Wait, 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 wait. Come, out. Come out. Well, okay. it sounds like you're just confirming what we've already established. No, how, no, did they, how did they change it according to them? No, how see, now, now we're playing gymnastics. I'm proving to you that Islam maintains that they have been corrupted. Okay, okay. all right, beautiful. Go to the Sunan Abu Dawood for me. Sunan Abu Dawood, okay, what number? Go to 4441. Yep. Yeah, reading it. What does that say? Uh, just to confirm, you mean 4441? Correct. Sunan Abu Dawood? Yes. Prescribed punishments? Yep. The world no, should. Someone has an echo. Somebody needs to mute up. So essentially what it says, al Uzi said, the word shukta means tied, meaning her clothes were tied on her. That's fine. Could you just go ahead and read the hadith, please? That is the hadith. Sunan Abu Dawood 4441? Yep. Prescribed punishments, Kitab al-Hadud. Hold on. That's, that's not the hadith. You're in the wrong place. Oh. Okay. Sunan Abu Dawood 4441, bro. Yep. Sunan Abu Dawood 4441, book 40, hadith 91, book 39, hadith 4427. And what does it say? It says, prescribed punishments, Kitab al-Hadud. The word shukta means tied, meaning her clothes were tied on her. All right, hold on. Are you on Sunnah.com? Yep. You're right. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 4449. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I'm not a half easy in the, you know, Hadith yet. That's all right. Okay, 4449. Do you want me to read it? Yes, please. A group of Jews came and invited the Messenger of Allah to Kuf. So we visited them in their school. They said, Abu al-Qasim, one of our men has committed fornication with a woman. So pronounced judgment upon them. They placed a cushion for the Messenger of Allah, who sat on it and said, bring the Torah. It was then bought. He then withdrew the cushion from beneath him and placed the Torah on it, saying, I believed in thee and in him who revealed thee. He then said, bring me one who is learned among you. Then a young man was brought. The transmitter then mentioned the rest of the tradition of stoning similar to the one transmitted by Malik from Nafi. Was the Torah already corrupted at this time? Yes. So then why is Muhammad removing himself from the judgment seat, placing the Torah on it and saying that he believes in that corrupted Torah? Because he believes in the sanctity of his author. But he, no, he doesn't say the sanctity of the author. Well, no, he, he says the author. I believe in thee and the one who revealed you. Yes. So the Torah that he has is corrupted. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so he's, he's believing in the corrupted Torah and, and saying that Allah revealed that corrupted Torah. No, see, this is this is the mind game you're playing right now. Okay, mind game. Or am I just he reading? believes in the Torah, the which, Torah. Which Torah, the Torah. Is okay? the, does he have the, the Torah? The does Torah. Okay, it's like me. If I pick up this book right now, I'm holding a book in my hand to you right now, and I say this is the Bible. Okay, I'm like this is the Bible. I'll hand it to you, but you're not allowed to look inside it. You're not allowed to confirm whether or not this is the Bible. Would you treat it with respect? Is is Muhammad a prophet? Of course he is. Does he know what books are of God and what are corrupted? Of course he does. Okay. Would he believe in a corrupted book? No. All right. So he's given the Torah and he says he believes in this Torah. Mm -hmm. So that would mean that this Torah that he has is not corrupted, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. There you go. So okay. the Torah is not corrupted, bro. Muhammad even affirms it. But one second, the, the Quran doesn't. You use the Hadith. 
to show some things. Number one, okay, God logic. I'm sure you're on that right page. Right at the bottom, I don't want to do this. Brother, I, if, like if, to if, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, didn't you just go outside of the Quran? When? You literally just went outside of the Quran oh, yeah, to try to. I did. I understand. Okay, thank I, you. I'm, so, okay, thank you. So he's allowed to do the same thing. I you never said he could. I'm using the hadith. He but can, you just allowed to use okay, the hadith. Never mind. However, okay. you, you never said he could it, but you just complained about it. Okay. Is either okay. that or he's throwing his hadith under the bus, and therefore I'm going to have to tell him the one rule, either one. I, I'm not throwing the hadith under the bus, but fundamentally, the Prophet says, "I believed in thee. I believed in thee, and in him who revealed thee." What's the difference between believed and belief? What's the difference between reveal and revealed? Revealed, as in something's already been done. Revealed, uh, it's so to Allah, be done. So Allah has already revealed that Torah? Of course he has, a long time right, ago. So, and Muhammad has already believed in it? He has believed in it, yes. Yeah, so... But it, you're, miss, you're missing the point. He believed. Yeah, you don't believe well, on that Allah, moment. Allah, re, Allah revealed. Okay, it, logic. If logic. Allah revealed it in the past, does that mean it's not a revelation anymore? It's a rep no because the to okay God logic understand this right the Quran okay. and the Torah the Quran is essentially the Torah it's an uncorrupted version of it say that again the Quran is essentially the Torah it the is Quran essentially the Bible one more time one more time the Quran, is the Torah. the Quran is what the Quran is basically the Torah which is basically the Bible basically they are they were not meant the Quran wasn't meant to happen if the Bible wasn't corrupted the Bible wasn't supposed to happen if the Torah was not corrupted. okay this is what I want you to do my brother okay I want you to show me a Quran verse mm -hmm. that says that the Quran came because the Torah and the gospel were corrupted okay also too after he does that tell him to do it for the New Testament because he just said that's why the New Testament came too right we haven't we haven't heard a thing about the in view. We just keep hearing arguments about the Torah. Nothing about the in view. Okay, here we go. So number one, Surah Al Maida, verse five forty eight, and we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book in truth confirming that which preceded it of the scripture and as a criterion over it. So There's judge no between criteria. them by what- I have to one stop you there. I know, that you're, I know that you're reading an English translation that has criterion there. It's mm -hmm. lying to you. The word in Arabic is mahaymen, which is guardian, not criterion. The word for criterion is okay. khan. Right, okay, really? fine. I'll, I'll accept that from you, but I'm not quite sure if it changes the meaning, but I'll do it. Yeah, and it, as a guardian, it'll, it'll change. It. It'll change the the umph in which you were reading that. You was reading that with some umph, boy. You was like, you see here, it's it's revealed. It came confirming what preceded it, and a criterion, uh huh, a criterion. You see, uh -huh. of the previous script, you know. So I just I okay. make sure you had to bring that. That's down. fun. All right, go ahead, continue. Carry on, and then for example, Surah Al Imran. Wait, 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 why are you changing? Why are you changing? Okay, I can go back to it. I can go yeah, back so to it. I just want where, to give you where, where, in, where in chapter 5, verse 48, does yes. it say that the Quran came because the previous scriptures were corrupted? It says okay. it came confirming them. Yes, of course. That they're true. That, as you would know, as you are, would come from the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. Where, okay, where does Ibn Kathir say that? Okay, I'll show you tafsir of Ibn Kathir. One second. I have to bring up my tafsir book. All right. You know what? I can help you. Go for it. Go to Ibn Kathir's Tafsir, go to chapter 3, verse 78. That that's He he breaks that down pretty well in that verse. Um, give me one second while I quickly bring this up. Yeah. Perfect. Here. So, uh, 78. So, uh, yeah, oh, yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Allah Ma'udi Ibn, Ibn Kathir, he says, the point to a fact of major significance, it could have also been said that the Quran confirms all those parts of the earlier divine books, which are still extant in their true and original form. See? But the sense has been conveyed by employing the word the book rather than the previous books. This expression reveals that the Quran and all those books sent down by God at various times and in different languages, in reality, constitute one and the same book, which is exactly what I said. Their author is one and the same. Their aim and purpose are the same. Their teaching is the same and the knowledge which they seek to impart to mankind is the same. The difference between these books lies in their modes of expression. What are you reading? I'm reading the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. On what? 
on on his in the thing on the book i've got the pdf copy do you want it on what verse oh on the verse of surah al maida chapter 5 verse 48. okay so no no, no problem can you go to his tafsir on 378 Quran 3 verse 78. I mean, I feel like we're jumping topics without letting me finish, but okay. Well, this is the same topic, bro. I'm trying to help you. Okay, let's go for it. Um, okay, commentaries for 378. Do you want Ibn Kathir? Uh, Ibn Kathir. Yeah, reading it. Now, skip down to where he, he gets he gets ready to quote Abu Qar because he's quoting a hadith. I'm not sure I can see that. We're, all right, so you see we're in parentheses in 378 in his top stair, and his, in parentheses he starts talking about... Oh, it his, might surprise you that the documents we're looking at have different formatting. I can't see what you're saying. All right, so are you in his top stair? I'm looking at 378, Kathir ibn al-Kathir. All right, so uh, the first thing that it should say, the first heading should be the Jews alter Allah's words, right? Correct. All right, so, at, so it gives you that paragraph. Yep. Skip that paragraph, go down to the second parentheses, it should say, and they speak a lie against Allah while they know it, right? Right. All right, skip that, go to mm -hmm. the third parentheses where it says, who distort the book with their tongues, right? Yep. All right, that's what I want you to read. I want you to read that paragraph. Okay, Al-Bukhari reported that Ibn Ab Abbas said that the ayah means they alter and add although none among Allah's creation can remove the words of Allah from his books. They alter and distort their apparent meanings. Wahab bin Munhab said the Torah and the Injil remain as Allah revealed them and no letter in them was removed. However, the people misguide others by addition and false interpretation, relying on books that they wrote themselves. Beautiful. So do you see how, even according to Ibn Abbas and Wahab bin <laughs> Munabi, the Torah and the Injil are unchanged, not a single letter was removed? So, God logic, you're proving my initial point. No, I, I think that we're just further establishing the point that we already agreed on. No, no, I've never made, I've, I've always said to you that the original words of God that formed the Torah and the Injil cannot be changed. It doesn't say, it doesn't make a distinction between original and non-original. Uh, it does. It says whatever. here, right. they Where alter, you know? one second, they alter and add, although none among Allah's creation can remove the words of Allah from his books. All right. Are the, were the Torah and the Injil his books? The Torah and the Injil, yes. All right, so they cannot have, no word can be removed from those books, right? Well, using the exact same tafsir you're using, this is, you have to read the whole thing. What else does he say? The Torah and the Injil remain as Allah revealed them, and no letter in them was removed. However, Man. the people misguide others by addition and false interpretation, relying on books that they wrote themselves. So these so books what, that they write themselves, themselves so Ibn Kathir says they do not rely on the original books. They wrote books themselves using the originals and adding more. Beautiful. So they don't, excuse me, they're not relying on the Torah and the gospel. They're now relying on books that they write themselves. That they call oh. the Injil and the Torah. No, no, they don't call it the Injil and the Torah. They, it doesn't say that here. It doesn't say that they call these fake books the Injil and the Torah. That's not what they do. But they just write these fake books and they rely on them. So, God logic, how do you know they don't call them the Torah and the Injil? Where does it say that they do? Where does it say they don't? So, so, so you, you, do you see how you have to put, have to in, uh, in place that into the text? What do you mean? Does he know what an argument from silence is? An argument from silence is where you need a thing that needs to be in your argument that a text doesn't say mm -hmm. in order to make the case. Right. However, <laughs> we don't have to say that it right. says it right. more than it does. Right. So okay. In order for it to make your case, mm -hmm. you have to find the place where it is. Mm -hmm. It's That's not fine. saying prove where it isn't. For mm -hmm. your position to be right, you have to prove where it is, say that. Okay, so we can go again to the very beginning, and it basically confirms that. Allah states that some Jews, as you read, distort Allah's words with their tongues. Now, let's do some simple inference Allah's words what are Allah's words the only existence of Allah's words in our world are through his books the Torah the Injil of the Quran so if the Jews have distorted Allah's words they must have meddled with some of the original texts fine no. we've established that what is it it just told you how they distorted dude pay attention 
Yes, How did you I ignore it? No, no, see, now you're ignoring. It literally says, however, the people misguide others by addition and false interpretation, relying on books that they wrote themselves. Bro, well, you loud, right? What's, what's up with my people on stage uh, with uh, all these loud backgrounds? Uh, well, re respectfully, man, I'm a, I, I think that we're just going to have to move on, bro, because um, now, we're, now we've eliminated all the groundwork that we have built, and you're back at square one making the same claim you was when we've already proven and you agreed with us that the actual text is not corrupted. They only distort with their words or false books that they write themselves. So, God logic, so, before I, I go, I'm not, I'm not going to go, go in circles with you, so I got to just bring somebody <laughs> up there, bro. But essentially, it's because you haven't been able to prove it to me. You're right. You, you, you're right. You got this. <clears throat> you you did you did well, man. Okay. Goodbye. You did a great job. What a shame. We have we have you unrecording agreeing with us. And then now look, when you get in trouble, everything that you've agreed to up to this point, out the window as if you never said it. That's how that's how it is talking to Muslims, man. That's how it is talking to Muslims.